Welcome to the first ever T-Bolt USA Pit Bike Update. I'm Vince. I'm Vince. So let's get started. So uh, this is a new series, and today we're going to go over a race report, talking about recent races. Uh, we're going to talk about new videos and things that have been posted about Pit Bike on YouTube. Um, we're going to also talk about some products that are back in stock and things that people are looking forward to for their bikes. And we're going to talk about some upcoming races. All right. Um, so. Do you want to get into the race report? Yeah. So first up, um, let's get into the race report. So what races have happened recently? Um, we went to... Uh, Milford, Connecticut. Up at Masters of Mini. To the Masters of Mini series. That was Round just a couple one, weeks ago. Uh, two Saturdays ago. Um, great day of racing. Weather was good. Track was perfect as usual. They ran it backwards compared to uh, the last The track times. was was backwards. You had to come... You went over the finish line, and then you made the left, and you went up the hill this time, which was pretty awesome. Um, at the start, they made it zigzag back and forth down the slope, which was really cool. Yeah, I, I liked how um, I liked how they got rid of those elevation changes where you went, you know, real high and low up at the uh, higher yeah. spot near the start. Yeah, there was a big double on the long straightaway that I was pretty much full on every single time wide open and cased it every single time and i was really feeling bad for my bike for the um, uh the xr100 right? yeah yeah the poor bike but track was perfect excellent there was two little whoop sections which were hammering through a lot of nice bowl turns um the dirt wasn't real super thick it wasn't too it was just great. You could just yeah. turn down anywhere. It wasn't sloppy. It wasn't sloppy at all. It wasn't too dry. Um, excellent track conditions. Uh, Milford Riders Club, again, perfect. Yeah. Great conditions. And we're going back uh, twice this year. I believe. Yeah, Once. twice or maybe even three times, depending if we can make it. Right. I think this is the first time there's two more races, one in October and another one sprinkled throughout the year a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Milford. Milford Riders Club, great place to race pit bikes. Not Always too awesome. Not too far from Jersey or Pennsylvania either. If yeah, you're just on above it. New York City. Yeah, it's um, Davo, great job. Um, all his kids, they 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 helped out. Track crew was great, real smooth. Um, a bunch of other vendors were there. A bunch of guys were up there. Uh, TB Parts, T Bolt USA. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, really cool hanging out with people that we haven't seen. Um, uh, one particular and college boy, uh, Tucker Hake, took a third. Good friend of ours. Um, college boy again. Teddy. Um, Teddy Tavernier got a seventh. The, uh, the guy he behind is the Kinetic. guy that makes all the parts for the Kinetic MX that we, we sell and sometimes run out of. Um, and but, that, that was a pretty we got stacked, more coming in that, a week or two. And that was a stacked class, too. Yeah, College Boy was pretty stacked. 32 entries. 32 entries in that one. Um, senior, uh, Davo got second overall. Um, uh, Mark Roy got fifth. Uh, he looked good. Um, what else? What Fat Boy, Brian Griswold took first. Um, who else do we have? Dave o on, got what, eighth. Is this here? Uh, Brian was on a on Thumbstar. On a thumb yeah. Star. yeah, top two finishers in Fat Boy were on Thumbstars. That's unbelievable. Something. Yeah, third place um, SSR. An SSR, then a Honda. Um, Dalton was in there. Dalton Miller, he got ninth. Uh, on his on a Honda. Dalton's from uh from Trail Bikes. TB, TB Parts. Parts. Um. Who else? Chris Gano, always fun to race with. Um, and Dad and I were in. Uh, we're yeah, in. Fat we were Boy in too. there. We did not come in last, so pretty happy about that. So that was cool. Not quite. Uh, 
uh, Poor Boy winner, Billy Masiavecchio, um, good customer of ours. I mean, you know, all these guys. Uh, Mike Smola was in there, Jeff Young, um, Scott Manchester took sixth in Poor Boy, um, which is, is pretty cool. Uh, go ahead, go, go down to limited. Go, keep going, keep going. Pass limited. Okay, so here we go. Unlimited, Scott Manchester, absolutely ripping. Um, dude's just unbelievable to look at on a pit bike. It's just nuts when you watch him ride. Um, Austin Williams, John Borello, uh, first, second, and third. Um, okay, so in Unlimited, Larry Woodward was riding the pitster. Uh, my 901 pitster, he got 16th out of 26th. He looked really great. I think um, he, he won his qualifying heat. Hold up. I think they, they have him in here uh, two, two different places. Yeah, skip that. I think they might have, uh, they, it might be an issue in the scoring, but they might have sco scored his two motos separately. Yeah, weird. Which it might have put him a little bit higher in there. Yeah, if, uh, if yeah. Those but were combined, I, I just know that he won. That's still something. He won his uh, heat, and that there was a video we put up on Instagram about him winning the heat. I threw that on YouTube uh, as well. Yeah. Larry, Ted Woodward, just absolutely awesome. Looks great out there. Um, keep going. Middle age, Scott Manchester again, Andy Young, Brian Griswold. On a thumb star, took third in the middle age, which is pretty cool. What huge, else? Huge, huge turnout at this race. Yeah, just unbelievable. This middle age, 36 riders. Okay, nuts. Women's class, Peyton Hake, again on a thumb star. Katie Cry was a second. Taryn Nemer got third. Uh, Elise, got Elise Alcott, she got sixth. That was Pretty really cool. yeah. It's it's it, it's nice because there was actually ten entries, so you know you actually ten yeah get ten to entries see some real racing. Women. Play bike. How many entries are in play bike? Oh my god, thirty seven. Thirty seven. Oh my god, it's insane. Play bike, thirty seven entries. Um, so what else we got? Oh, Kamikaze. Oh, Tucker Hake first in Kamikaze. That's awesome. really cool. Friend of ours. Um, Tom Palmero helped us run some of the uh, uh, yeah him yeah. and his dad helped us run some events with that we did that we do uh, here we go rock star Scott Manchester here's the big one Scott Manchester first in the rock star Tucker Hake uh, second and Billy Masivecchio third a lot of these guys Austin Williams a lot I of mean, these guys didn't you, get a chance to sit down at all yeah <laughs> if you've seen this rock the rock star guys were just absolutely ripping it and uh yeah definitely a good turnout another good fun. race another good race we went to uh just last week that was just a couple weeks ago and then go ahead another race we went to just last weekend over at raceway park yeah just last weekend racing at raceway park again after like 10 years of none no racing they had one race last year at uh, the k-rock it went off really good um we're going to be sponsoring that series as well uh, we had a good time over there, um, seeing a lot of good friends. Uh, again, it was me, Vince, um, and uh, uh, Larry Woodward. Ted Woodward was with us. He raced. Uh, he raced the Thumb Star. We raced our Honda uh, XR one hundreds. Um, bring up some of those results. They're up. <clears throat> the um, track was just amazing. The dirt again, you know, English Town. Um, one of the coolest things was, you know, I, I've been around that course a lot on practice days, the new layout, new track, you know, it, it's all new for, from last year. I was, I was there the very first day when the new track was put in. Um, there's a section where you come, you, you go into three tables, you make a right, then you make another 180, and then you go into a jump. And right there is where they decided to make the track go right. So I come over in the first lap and I'm like, whoa, whoa, the track's supposed to go a different way. So <laughs> totally a trip. But then, yeah, I, I got it later, but it was just so weird. Um, yeah, it was really neat because they um, they took out the uh, the elevator. 
which I don't think some of the uh, the stock bikes would have yeah, been yeah. able to get Yeah, the elevator's up. too high to get up over with. The, the elevator bikes. kind of has a step up halfway up the up it, and it's up the uh, ramp. Yeah, it, it's definitely would be difficult for these these pit bikes. Yeah, so it was abbreviated track. It wasn't tall track, but it was still big, thick. Um, all right, so results. Um, as far as results go with the pit bike, the 110 stock class, pack class, uh, Joey Peters takes first. Okay, got a second in the first moto and a first in the second moto. Um, it's funny, he called, he was, he was texting me, um, came down, got parts earlier in the week, and then we seen him and he won the race, totally cool. Um, and then fifth place, a uh, friend of ours, uh, Donzi D'Ambrosa, he did good. He actually went down in the first moto, went over the berm, missed his break. Um, who else was in here? Uh, Lucas Broski was in there. <laughs> he did good on his new Sierra F110. Um, yeah, totally cool. Good, good motos both times with those guys. Um, yeah, it was really nice going out there. Um, always a good time hanging out. Uh, we saw John Castaldi was there with his Cobra set up. Um, you still recording or you not? Yeah, it's recording audio. Camera's dead. But uh, I'm going to switch over to this for the video. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, when um, first going out into practice, I, I think uh, after not being on the track, on a, like on a pit bike. Well, they, they just, changed the track. Yeah, the track was shortened, but so still. It was, it was interesting because they had, they had uh, big bike riding and practice during the day. From, yeah, yeah. We're out there, on, out there on big bikes during the day. Which was cool. Right, because I got to take my YZ125 yep, out. Yeah, got the YZ out. Um, Dad got his... Uh, got the CRF250R out. And then <clears throat> later we went out for the pit bike practice. And it was really neat to be able to see the track, you know, from a different perspective from the pit bike. Um, it, it was just an awesome, awesome view of the track. Uh, the finish line jump was in. The three tabletops were in. Um, a lot of the burbs, the big, the big table in the middle was in, which, yeah, I was casing it on that like every single time. In the middle of the, the three tabletops? No, like the, the big, after, after like the S, te S turn, remember when you came off the track and you went into like the cones? Yeah. And then you went into that big table and then up and over like that and you made the right? Yeah. That, that big table, like that's part of the main track, you know, of course, right. but, um, yeah, I just felt like I was casing it on that thing because I. Didn't That's where it was guess. a little soupy right before that, right? It, oh yeah, yeah. It's always that spot's always real loose. That their dirt's always tilled up in there. But like you get, yeah, if you got in there, you know, if you weren't like totally on the gas in the corner, you started to bog a little bit on the way to the table. But <clears throat> yeah, def definitely there was some there were some whoops in there at the end towards the finish line. Um, Finish line jump was good. Just the whole track's just just awesome. The three tables, you know, after the finish are just great. If anybody ever rides, it, you, you go in and there's a hump, and then you go into three tables. It's like table, 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 and you just like holding it wide open through there in like third or fourth gear. And um, sometimes, you know, it, it gets a little you go metal to metal, but uh, definitely cool. Let's go on to the other class what else do we got? the uh 110 cc mod well uh, interesting thing i wanted to point out as far as the uh the results in 110 stock stock class had what well our boy uh our boy donzi taking fifth yeah yeah that was awesome fifth and then lucas got 10th 
um, Tyler Schmidt. Um, how many how many riders do we have in that one? We had. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one, not too bad. Yeah, pretty good amount of entries. The yeah. interesting thing was, so Masters of Mini, where do they draw the line for age? Where it's a youth class or seventeen plus, just like seventeen plus. Yeah. Okay, okay, it was interesting because it was um, it was pit bike and also mini bike. So there were a lot of mini entries, like a yeah. lot of kids, just yeah. you know, normal, yeah. you know. Going up through. Yeah, there were some kids' classes, but yeah. you know, we were just going over the yeah. adult pit bikes. So there stuff. was there was a little bit of a turnout. I think um Oh yeah, there was a ton of people there. Yeah. I think uh I think later when uh when the big one comes around at uh raceway, hopefully we can get a lot of the master and mini guys to come down and we can uh at that last Milford uh in October we can get a lot of these guys to go up. Yeah. So it'll yeah, be really, be cool. really neat promote. to see. Uh, yeah, we're trying to the last round at Milford in October. It's going to be like an East East Coast shootout. We're hoping to get as many guys as we possibly can to come up to Milford, and you know, we'll just all do a big blowout end of the year bash. Um, yeah, we'll we'll kidnap Donzi if we have to. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So, Figure a way to get Zay out there too. Get some yeah, real video you know, going. You know, uh, maybe we can some get some battling, of the Ohio uh, guys out there. Get get um, like a you know a situation where we got uh, some of the YouTube guys. All the, all the helmet cams. Yeah. Put together yeah, like a whole all race. The helmet cams, right? What else do we got at Raceway? Uh, so we had the uh, the mod class. It didn't seem like there was uh, quite as much interest over in there. Mod class, James Jobs. The third, Brian Culbertson, <laughs> good customer of ours, uh, Patsy Cintrullo, uh, Brayton Carroll, Sam Messer, so definitely some some good racing in the mod class. And then where's the one, the... Uh, what we were in? Yeah, what's that one? The 150. Okay, and then we had another fifteen people in uh, in pit bike zero to one fifty four stroke, basically an open class. A lot of uh, XR one hundred, XR one hundreds. Um, anybody mod bikes, no, it doesn't matter. It was just a wide open up to one hundred fifty cc class, and that's where Dad and I were, uh, and uh, and Larry. Matthew Wall, Kenny Hutt second, Charles Burnett third, Danny Lee fourth. Uh, down to six, Larry Woodward, who pulled the whole shot in the second moto. There's a picture of him up on Instagram there that he took, or one somebody took, one of our friends took. And again, we got 11th and 12th out of 15th. Um, I can't tell which is which, though. <laughs> they didn't put our numbers. Uh, well, one of us says Vincent Oh, oh no, to number 28. So, okay. yeah, so I got 12th and, and Vince got... One of uh, us is in here as Vincent Pale. The other is in here as yeah, Vince Pale. Yeah, but I'm my number 28. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and three yeah, people were after us, so we're pretty happy about that. What what he's trying to, Dad's trying to say is he beat me. I'm not trying to say that. I ain't up it, about. It's true. <laughs> I, ain't up, I ain't up about that. It was just a good race. So real, real briefly, um, what we want to do with this series is we want to have maybe like a weekly update. Um, just about you know the races, what's happened, what's coming up. Um, give you a little of insight or look into our world, and you know an update about our world. Um, you know who we are, etc. So I think that'll do it for the race report. Um, so what uh, what videos have we seen up on uh, on the YouTube's recently? Um, that worth, one that uh, was really good was uh, Zay Solace. I think he finally got his pit bike KLX 110 pretty much all together. Um, and what one is that? Yeah, really cool uh, KLX 110 build. KLX pit bike build is finally done. Epic. Um, threw down a bunch for T Bolt. We got T Bolt USA. Um, had uh, a, a, just a ton of different parts that we put together and the. You know the pit bike looks great. 
Um, Got to check that one out. It's called Calyx 110. Pit bike build is done. Epic. Uh, Zay Salas. Um, check that one out. Uh, Speaking of, uh, of E-Town. Yeah, Donzi's got Donzi D'Ambrosa. He has a video up um, covering pretty much almost all the motors that he was in at the E-Town race. Um, that one was definitely cool. Um, and they're still involved in the pit bike build of the CRF 110. Um, <coughs> going over the mod bike. Uh, that was pretty cool. They also stopped up and we ra we rode a couple weeks ago up at Frenchie's. Uh, Ripping full mod. It's called Ripping the Full Mod KLX 110. That was me and Vince and Dan and the whole crew um, and Rob and Donzi came up and Frenchie was there. So he was doing his ramps on the big bike. So it's definitely a cool day. Um, we were all ripping pit bikes um, pretty much the whole day. Um, so yeah, so definitely, definitely a cool day. Good, Check out Don's good, D'Ambrosa. Good guys to on follow. YouTube. Definitely. And Zay Solis, he's just got a million YouTube videos that are just almost all pit bike, all fun stuff. Got to throw a shout out there to uh, Goontang, too, with his uh Yeah, they've his got a lot, star of, videos. a lot of good Thumb Star videos. And he's got a full mod KLX 110 that uh, all graphics, it's got T-Bolt USA graphics on it. Um, you know, some good riding over at Goontang. Some builds, uh, even stuff you can see how it goes together. Oh, and we um, we worked with Cars and Cameras a little while back. They're a pretty big channel um, uh, with the engine build. Right? Yes, uh, uh, CT70. Um, we do a lot of pit bike engines in the CT70 Hondas, the old retro Hondas. Um, cars and Cameras, we did a, uh, took a 70 out, put a 110 cc semi in, um, pretty much the whole, the whole build over on their channel <clears throat> there's probably like three or four uh videos about ct70s most of them are yeah. involving t-bolt usa and if you like uh, stuff if, if you, you like, like the old retro 70s you know um yeah check them out a lot of people really like the old retro 70s um definitely cool yeah and uh we you know we hope to each week um and we hope to each week keep you posted with, uh, you know, anything, any new pit bike videos or, you know, creators who start getting into them, uh, you know, yeah. just to, to shout them out, whether yeah. we know them or work with them or not. So Yeah, I think um, uh, Tyler is, Tyler Monahan's got, got a couple parts. He's going to be doing some videos. He's got some cool stuff up um, there, too. Um, there's a couple other guys that are popping up lately that I have to get a list of and we'll have to review some videos and let you guys know you know what what's coming up on what social media as far as that goes i uh, probably like five or six guys i got a folder of different people are telling me that they're doing pit bike videos and you know we'll check them out and then uh <clears throat> refer you to them so so one products um Okay, so BBR, big news. Chris Brown hit me up like two, three weeks ago. Bam, all of a sudden, you know, haven't talked to him in a month. And, oh, hey, we have a whole, we have all these parts back in stock, a whole big list. So immediately I buy <clears throat> KLX 110, KLX 110L, Fork Springs, um, CRF 110 fork springs, CRF 110 damper rods, KLX 110 damper rods. Those are super popular. We just been buying and buying and buying. You guys, you guys are just the support is amazing on those parts. Um, <clears throat> those are probably the most popular parts that came back in. The CRF 110 skid plate from BBR that came back. I bought a bunch of them, but they sold out again. I'm here in another week or so, but we should have the CRF 110 skid plates again. Those are super popular too. Um, as far as TB parts, there was a big update. So all anything that's recently new 
uh, were added to the TB parts line from TB parts in Maryland. Those parts are all officially on the website with the proper pictures. Um, yeah, we, most of the pictures were on there. That was a big all day Sunday getting yeah. that stuff fixed. As but, soon as they send, whenever they <clears> send over a list of uh, stuff that's in stock or back, that's our first priority is always getting, you know, the uh, TB parts trail bike stuff yeah. up on the site as soon as we can. Yeah, anything. That, a lot of them were already on there. Some of the pictures weren't that great. We got a lot. All the pictures are good. Mostly a lot of uh, OEM and retro stuff. Um, For what, what kind set, of bikes? Uh, all, all across the board, retro bikes and KLXs. There's a there's a new set of forks that you can just buy a set of forks with heavy duty springs to put on your KLX 110. Okay, um, that's all. That sounds like stuff that, uh, that <laughs> XR 100 yeah. shock. We actually rode with the new XR 100 shocks. Uh, Vince's bike has the XR 100 shock. Um, it's a DNM. My bike has an XR 100 shock. Yeah. Right there. Uh, you know, so those are good. Which one has the the <clears throat> prototype? My on? bike has a prototype on okay. it still. Okay. So I, you know, I haven't broken that yet. But yeah. I really, I really like the feel of mine though. Uh, on my yeah, bike. Vince just got the new CRF one hundred uh, rear shock. Um, Sick one tens just came out with an overtop brake pedal for the newer KLX one tens. They had one before. They had they? one for the older KLX one oh, tens, okay. but then now finally, you know, after however many years. We have one for the newer KLX 110s and KLX 110L. So that's now we have one for the 50 KLX 110, KLX 110L, and the older KLX 110, all from SICK 110s, so, all in stock. So when's the CRF 110 one coming? <clears throat> Not sure. <laughs> that, that I think um, that I think Kinetic is working on. Okay. So one of the other big products that we've been selling from Western Power Sports is the DRC pegs. Okay. So they're like 50 bucks. You get pegs for your KLX, Not pegs bad. for your uh, CRF 110. Super heavy duty, really nice. They've been featured in a bunch of different videos. Yeah. Um, we're trying our best to keep those in stock. Shoot, uh, shoot um, me a link to the videos because I can link them in here too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Donzi put them on. Uh, Zay put them on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, they're they're cool. on everybody's bike and they're, they're, they're super popular. Yeah. Um, the mica bars, a lot of mica guys bars, are... a new thing. Yeah, we didn't have mica brand. Uh, we do now. We have a bunch of different colors. They're all just slightly not. They're just slightly slightly uh, shorter than your pro taper pro taper fifty bend. Okay, but they're also taller than your pro taper KLX one ten bend. Do we still so have definitely good 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 tall bar yeah. for your for your pit bikes do we still have aluminum the, the generic um just pit bike bars yeah we do with the t-bolt usa how pad do those, on how do those come those in fit right in between the klx the pro taper klx and the uh pro taper sierra 50. so these so will, they're right in between okay so the micas so. Are, are a little bit taller than the the generic ones yeah yeah they're t a tiny bit taller okay but they're cool. you know they're really nice they're popular guys yeah. have been liking those um but two brothers we we had two brothers uh, uh klx 110 l seats <clears throat> their seats really nice goes across the board fits the l fits the regular klx fits all years and the new um, ones and the old ones fits the new ones and the old okay. ones we've been selling a ton of those I got a ton more coming in. Those are being really, really popular. Um, so yeah, definitely. <clears throat> but as far as TB parts, you know, we got the V2 heads for the KLX 110. Oh, the pretty v much V2s are back. Yeah, well, the V2s are back or been back for the KLX 110s. Um, regular race heads are in. Yeah. I think the only thing we're really out of is the V2 head for the Honda 50s. Okay. So they're they're not in until June. Okay. So looking at the schedule here, um, it looks like the next race coming up is going to be Masters of Mini Round 2, uh, and that's June 9th. <clears throat> and that's at the Wick. That's at South Wick up in, uh, Massachusetts. Up in Massachusetts. So um, I don't know if we'll get all the way up there. 
Um, June 15th, New Jersey Field of Dreams. So, Alex's graduation is the days before that. Yeah, so okay. um, her family will be in town that weekend. Uh, okay. So I don't know how it'll all work out, but uh, okay. But we'll have to play that by ear a tiny bit. Okay. All right. I might be down there by myself. Um, Support dad. Yeah. Yeah, stop down. I might need somebody he needs to help a hug. change a tire or something. <laughs> um, uh, Pagoda, July 6th. Right. So that's so, coming up. Yeah, we're getting a little bit further out, yeah. you know, toward July. But, uh, yeah. but Mas uh, Masters of Mini at Milford, July 13th. Yeah. If you're going to put it in your calendar, put it in your what, calendar. Where, when's the next one? Where's the next raceway one? Go, go to t -Bolt. Go to t -Bolt USA. September 7th I have here. No, nah, no. Nah, down here. June eighth, June eighth. Yep. So, so that's is that coming conflicting? up. Well, it's conflicting with with the WIC, but that's two different regions. It's true. It's you know true. what I mean? It's so true. you know, is that? <clears throat> what is June eighth though? Oh, it's a Saturday. Yeah. Okay, the Southwick race. Is on a Sunday. Is on a Sunday. Yeah. That's so one of in few. theory. Yeah, you could be a real <laughs> nutcase and drive all the way up to Southwick after racing it. Right. At English Town and race the next day. Yeah. We. Uh, I'm we not did doing a, that. We did a drive last uh, last time we went to Milford before this most recent. We were we had driven down to. Uh, Nashville. Nashville, and then the next that night drove back. All night. And then went to race. And race the next day, all day. And then he, Dad wanted to drive home, too. but uh, Rob I, drove home. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think that about does it for upcoming events. Um, this That reminds me, I have to update JustPitBikes.com to make sure I include the uh, Raceway Park races in there, too. Yeah. But it's on the T-Bolt USA site, and, um, and I've been so posting on social media. So also you can go to mastersandminis.com. You can go to English Town Raceway Park. Uh, that's on there. Um, there's probably some others that we that we aren't mentioning. Tell us that aren't really in our region. Yeah. Uh, there's some stuff out in Ohio that we probably should be up to speed on. I'm sorry, but we're just being a little selfish and mentioning being, the ones uh, that we're going to go to ourselves. Being so. ethnocentric. It's yeah. all about our region. Yeah, so it's just <laughs> wrong. But no. I know there's pit bike races happening all over, but we're kind of focusing on the ones that we're probably going to attend yeah. or but you know hit us hang up. out at and then race. Yeah, you know, but like, hit us up. Let us know. We'd good. be glad to uh, spread the word. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so we went over the videos, upcoming races. Um, what else do we have? I think that's about it. Yeah, that kind of covers it. Um, yeah, we've been really crazy busy. We can't wait to see, meet some of you guys, come out, you know, hit the races. Um, you know, you could always stop by T-Bolt. Um, if you did, it's going to be crazy busy, so it's better off coming out and race with us or coming after hours and we could ride around the parking lot on pit bikes. You know, if you wanted to do that, that would be fine. Um especially since it's light out later. But other than that, like it's really crazy busy in here. We got so much going on. We got bikes that we're building, trying to keep running. <clears throat> Ton of orders going out all the time. People running around, trying not to holler at each other, just having a good old time. But we're here, so we're real. We're definitely here. <clears throat> we're here every single day. People sometimes complain that, oh, I couldn't get through on the phone. It's because we're already on the phone. So send a text send an email um send a message if you have to we will respond we'll get back to you we're there every and just single day blow, every day blow it up if it yeah it, blow it up don't yeah. don't feel like we're blowing you off no you know hit it twice send two text messages send three in a row you know send one every hour till we answer if it's that you know crazy urgent that you need an answer like we, we try to respond to every single one we got support tickets just piling up we it's got just, nowhere to hide yeah yeah we're just here so but uh yeah so i think that i think it's a good one i think this yeah. is a good a good talk right yeah so let us so. know what you think in the comments or email or message or smoke signal 
yeah, you know, anything. we want to uh, we want to keep this going. We want to improve it. Um, yeah, anything to help pit bike. Yeah. So. Yeah, we love pit bike. T-Bolt USA. Fun. Let's go ride. T-Bolt USA.com. Thanks.